but we have got to fit that transducer to the bottom of the wildcat how are we going to do that well we're going to do that with cable ties believe it or not um, because wildcat in their infinite wisdom they have not put any um, well nuts so you can uh, you can bolt the uh, transducer on so you really have to pierce the hole of the kayak making it you know compromising the, the water tightness of it so you know we're going to do it with cable ties and uh, I'll show you how so the first thing you want to do is thread the transducer cable from the underside of the kayak actually the first thing you want to do is take off this so unscrew that it comes with unscrews with four screws um, stainless steel little pan head screws to take that off and then uh, obviously <coughs> You've then got this recess bit sitting there nicely for your transducer to sit in, but you need to thread your cable through first. So thread it through like I've done there. What you choose to do this end is up to you. Um, at the moment, as a temporary thing, I've just literally got it going into the hatch, and it, it's kind of it's sealed. Everything's watertight in the hatch. The the excess cable stays inside the hatch, and then gets plugged into the fish finder there so that gets pulled through which is good you then I need enough slack left to do this you've then got your transducer so your transducer wants to be mounted like that yeah so it's sending a pulse down like that so now to do that, we get, let's move that out of the way, we get the top side of this, this is the underside, so that's essentially the bottom of the, the kayak, which is flush with here, all round here. So this is the underside, so you then place, place the transducer on there going to move this because I do need to go get some cable ties so you then have these cable ties which are from screw fix quite strong ones 4.5 by 300s uh, I'll put a link in the description then have your transducer sitting on top of this bit of plastic with the perforated holes in and then you literally go through actually do it that way there so you'll literally come through this second lot of holes through back through again and this is where you want to zip it up zip tie it up so get that where it needs to be and literally just get that in there so it's nice and tight, a bit fiddly zip tie that down so that's nice and tight so that's kind of where it's going to sit yeah it's not secure like that so we need another zip tie so same principle again have the connecting end this side go through back up and then zip tie that down as well And that's really secure it's not going anywhere so it's nice and tight it's nice and secure um, the transducer doesn't move anywhere it's sitting inside that recess of the uh, kayak um, you can you've even got room for a bit of this excess cable to be coiled up inside but most of it will end up in in there snip these off neaten it up 
and that's basically it that then gets screwed back to the underside here and then uh, jobs are good